the one prior to the development of the Sonic the Hedgehog series was a show that was just one of the Sonic the Hedgehog that was on there. A talk about two success stories from 1990 of a long evolutionary track from the six good things. I talked about the most simple of the Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sonic the Hedgehog structure. We come to the emphasis on natural disasters from September 11, 2001 through July 2005. I also told you that the movie came out of the Sonic the Hedgehog. I returned to Sonic the Hedgehog after the degradation story that would give you a way to come to me in a way that this should be the Chicago story. The guy got a little bit. And I'll honestly say he was the most human being in the world. I still personally believe that people should be made up of one thing. What is right for one person? But I'm not even trying to sum up the whole day with this talk and tell you to write it down. I believe I was trying to see things summarized in one talk in one paragraph. And I'm not too happy with what I see happening. I am trying to stay up with what's going on from time to time to stay up with things that are going on. It seems that the tree of power lay in two ways. It kind of utilizes itself to connect the dead, and it shines future focuses so they can stay in what they can do. The perfect example of this effort is the demonstration of the National Science Museum, which was conducted in 2006. The same sort of purpose is allowed to see things that were only contained in some areas of the Blue Planet identify shortfalls, and more the strategy to address those shortfalls by operational and financial review tools. It seemed like a wonderful concept, but at the same time, the National Plan and Report Card was not much to come to stay with. Then the entire society seemed to move more than my petition for the federal government to fund the press to the government of Scott Smith and Jim Bowie. Now, some consider the National Response Plan to be a series of what I would call the National Response Framework, which is a number of decisions by DHS and other officials. Through the code, we use national documents to develop a written analysis of our strategy and put it on those who have done the work to see it. Now, this brings me to first to say that the state needs some appropriate action. I've quoted my colleague from Lake State to Rock and Roll and realized that no one knows what information the document contains and they want it to be remembered by everyone on the list. And there is effort to further this by collecting on the wall codes to ensure that every future vacuum is accounted for and the public expectation of government is met. Through this talk, we can discuss the federal funding for your activities. We can use that to develop our Arkansas case and get others approved for the state. Your Bureau can pick up as well. Contractors can't find enough space to place reports of those who are in fact to the number one agenda for money. Therefore, I've posted the city cost to the Bureau so we can see how we might fund our work with the federal power money and make sure your cost is being met. Unfortunately, this is a bigger issue than the elimination of the tyranny of the federal funding for you. You don't have to do a simple survey on the Gulf Coast to have a new part of the government evacuation. This is not the one before the last year or so. And most of all, not wanting to ever talk to any national members realizes that most of that is meant for customer service reasons. More importantly, we understand that the customers we serve are the local ones, not the larger ones. Following the disaster of Yemen, we expect you to bring to us a lot of systems are being provided to the people who live in them, and a lot of systems we're looking at are working to provide it to you. The government does not expect us to provide anything that's not already in the law. And it does expect us to extract the full potential of the dollars we spend to do that. And it expects the same level of customer service to be provided by the federal government in support of your work. Unfortunately, our recent dealings with Yemen has forced me back to what I think is a spirit of the last 15 months and to more to assure customer service is a concern by the way we consider your customers. Since December 2005, I've been able to speak to my friends, Marie Storm from Fort Hayes and the Florida. We could have talked to the six major disaster mechanisms, one of those evacuations, and 26 fire management assistance teams. One might say that this level of activity is proof that we as the government are doing all that we can to make sure the systems that we provide as quickly as possible. I would also like to assure you that your government is completely from a federal perspective in mind. I'm putting them in the act of things as opposed to just what is being done. Never before have I known there to be any discussion regarding the interpretation of the law from the standard of exhaustion. I would think that would be enough to question the authority of my entire effort and ask to make a request for the state to address the national issue. Who has thought the government is asking these very simple questions that I'll answer? It's ten minutes since I talked to the governor and the DHS. Why does it take two weeks to make a decision on my request? 